Jesus. So I wanted to film this when it was like bright outside and there was natural lighting, but daylight savings Hey guys, what's up? It's Brandon Lord. Welcome back to my channel. Cheers. Uh, that was annoying. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about why dating sucks. You know, I was just sitting in my bed one night wondering, you know, what can I make a video about? I started to reflect on my own life and my own experiences currently and in the past. And I just start to realize, you know, dating fucking sucks. It is so hard to like carry a conversation with somebody or like talk to somebody or like meet somebody. It's so difficult. I feel like back in the day, it was so easy for everybody. Like you met somebody like walking across the hallway of like the, your fucking home. There was somebody just out the window like, hey, and then you met them and you married them. Maybe that's sketchy. You look at our parents or you look at just older couples and you ask them like, oh, when did you guys meet? Or like, how did you meet? And they're like, we met when we were 13 at the fucking uh, the fall festival. What? Nowadays with dating, it's very online heavy and it sucks. You go online, you look through the app and you come across all these profiles of people where they have posted the top pictures that they feel like they look their best at. You kind of start to have one of two feelings. One feeling being like, oh, well, they probably don't look like this, you know, in real life, they're putting their best picture. They probably only look like that like once in a blue fucking moon. Or you're having, wow, these people thought this was their best picture? Maybe they're just unfortunate looking. We're superficial as fuck. Just constantly judging people based on how they look and just all this and it's exhausting. Like shit, fuck. But then, okay, let's say, you know, you match with somebody or you hit somebody on, up on whatever app you're using. You start to kind of have the conversation. And you know what, conversations fucking suck. Like I'm so sick of the get to know you conversations. Like, oh, hi, how are you? How was your week? What do you do for fun? Oh yeah? Yeah, what do you do for work? Uh, in school? Uh. Like nobody fucking cares. I don't. I just feel like it's hard to meet somebody in real life. I don't know, I feel like people just get nervous when you meet people in person or when you come across people. And it's kind of like you don't want to bother somebody or like maybe you see somebody you like and you don't want to bother them but maybe you want to flirt but then it's like you don't know if they like you and like maybe they do but they're not showing it because they're also nervous because they're wondering if you like them and then it's just awkward and then you end up parting ways with barely saying hello and it's just like wow that could have been my fucking soulmate and I'll never know because I'm insecure as fuck and they possibly are too. With your luck, maybe you'll see them on the dating app or something like that, and then maybe you can swipe right or whatever, and then not match because they actually swipe left because they didn't like you. You do the get to know each other or whatever, and like either you're texting when you're getting to know them or you're messaging on the app, let's say. I feel like that's more common with the online dating. And then you're just like, oh, hey, text me, or they say text me. And so you get their number and then you start texting. And if they're a normal person, they have an iPhone. And if they're not shady, they have their read receipts on. You're texting or whatever, and then you know the conversation's like, okay, like it probably starts off good, but you know, sometimes it fizzles out. You could only talk about so many things. Let's say I'm texting somebody, and they text me something, and I don't respond back right away. They text me back like 20 minutes later, like, oh, you there, or oh, you're not interested anymore. And then it's just like, homie, I was making a bagel. And then I ate the bagel. My hands weren't free. I text somebody and if they don't immediately text back, I think they hate me. Or even if they text back, I think they hate me. That's another issue. You see the infamous red at, insert time here, 
I know when that happens to me, I'm instantly like, oh my God, why don't they want to talk to me? Like, why aren't they responding back? And it's just like, we're in this like culture of dating where it's like, if we're not constantly talking to somebody or constantly getting attention from somebody or giving attention, we perceive that as they don't like us or vice versa. And it's just like, no, sometimes there's nothing left to talk about at that moment. Or maybe they're going through something, don't have time to text back. And then it's just like all these rational reasons for not texting back. Go out the window when you're left on red and you just see it as they hate you. You had imagined this whole life with them like, oh, we're gonna date and it's gonna be great. And we're gonna go to Olive Garden. No, we're not gonna Olive Garden. Olive Garden fucking sucks. It's not to me though. But then they leave you on red. All that goes out the window. Even though they very much could have just left you on red for a very rational reason. I know sometimes that happens with me. When I leave somebody on red or whatever, like I don't mean to, sometimes you just get busy or sometimes you do mean to. And then that's another reason why you think they left you on red on purpose. It just sucks. There's the debate about when should I text back? I kind of go through this and some people I know go through this. You almost try to match the time they took to text back, or at least a good portion of that time. The thing is, you don't want to text back too quick because you don't want to seem too eager. And I think that's really it. You just don't want to seem too into them. Which is like, why wouldn't you want that person to know you're into them? I, it's fear of rejection. I, I feel like this whole conversation has kind of been all over the place. But so is kind of dating. Dating sucks. It's just like, and then a lot of times with online dating, you kind of like are scared to meet up with the person because I don't know, they could kill you. And so it's just kind of one of those things where you're stuck in this texting thing and it's like, do I trust this person enough to meet? That all depends really on the app you're using. You could do the essential, you know, find out all their Facebook or Instagram information, kind of stalk them that way and see, okay, they seem kind of normal. Like I could see myself getting a coffee with them, maybe. With online dating, you not only have to worry about your emotions or whether or not, you know, somebody likes you, you have to worry about whether or not they want to kill you. That could, I guess, also be used for dating. Like if you meet somebody in real life, they could seem normal the first couple times, but then you go back to their house and then they kill you. And it's just like, fuck, you're dead. Never go to a second location. Dating sucks. It's kind of like just not fun. You know, a lot of times apps just make me feel bad and weird and then I end up deleting them, but then I re-download them three months later when I have low self-esteem and I need somebody to validate me as a person. It's like, I wish we could kind of go back to old times the olden days where dating seemed to be at least a little easier and like you met authentically and in person and it seemed more natural and it wasn't like so online and judgmental and scary and just ugh. So yeah guys, that's been my TED talk and thanks for coming and make sure to like and subscribe. Bye all.